Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running On Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. Alright, this item is one of the few Burger King releases uh, that I'm actually, I'm, I'm hyped up about, I'm interested in, I'm actually looking forward to reviewing this one. It's their Angry Whopper. And uh, I've had this one before. I tried it, I think, back in whenever they released it, 2015 or 2016, and I liked it. I mean, you know, I, I know I go on and on against Burger King, and I say, I hate, I hate it, I hate this, I hate that. Uh, but the Angry Whopper from Burger King was one of the few items that I actually kept coming back for. I remember I really liked it, I thought it tasted good, you know, and I kept going back, I kept ordering it. That was probably my go-to item on their menu, at least during the time that it was available. And then, of course, as any temporary item, it was removed, and now it's brought back. And uh, we're just going to try it out. We're going to see how it's changed over the years, if it's still good, if it's gone down the tubes. Uh, is it angry? Is it friendly? Uh, you know, what are the, uh, the relations between it? Is it a hostile entity? Uh, we're going to find all that out and more on this latest review. The Angry Whopper. You can get this for $6.20, which is a, a pretty expensive price when it comes down to Burger King items. As described, it says the following, first and foremost, almost in a near cryptic message. If you go to their website and you look this up, the first thing it'll tell you, it'll say, You mad? Get angry. Which isn't a message that I agree with, but, I mean, if that's what Burger King wants to promote, you know, it's their company and they can... They can go for it, I guess. Uh, now, this this item has a lot on it, as a matter of fact. On it is a quarter-pound flame-grilled beef patty, thick-cut bacon, American cheese, iceberg lettuce, tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, mayo, and then angry sauce. I think the real mystery as to what makes the Angry Whopper so angry isn't the, the jalapenos. And it is not that iceberg lettuce. I think that's what a lot of people were thinking, but it isn't. That angry sauce. No one knows what it is. Last I checked, there was a team over at Yale that was trying to actually deduce what the, the recipe of the angry sauce is. Uh, you know, are there any sort of uh, components in it that are, are mood enhancers that, that do cause the recipient to be angry? Is it a placebo effect? Uh, what is the secret ingredient in the angry sauce? Unfortunately, though, contact was lost. We haven't heard from them in weeks, and I don't know what's going on over there. No one knows. Uh, but if you do remember, the last time that they released this, there was some controversy in the news about the Olympics. And believe it or not, they actually had to ban any athletes that were participating in the Olympic Games uh, from consuming any of the angry sauce, because they believed that it would make you so angry uh, it could actually kind of cause you to outperform those who did not consume angry whopper with said angry sauce. So it's just a little bit of tidbit, uh, which was obviously true. It's, it's like I was just making that one up on the spot. Uh, but either way, no one, no one knows what the angry sauce is. There it is in the whopper packaging. And there I am with whopper packaging. And let's, uh, let's see what it looks like. Angry Whopper. Oh, one thing that I did need to mention, I don't think I did well enough anyway, is the onion that's on it. And the Burger King website itself wasn't the most descriptive. Was, uh, it's kind of, it looks like this. I think they called them onion petals. They really didn't mention, though, that it's fried onions. So. Oh, that was my bad, but just for clarification. So there it is. I believe what's dripping out the side there is the angry sauce. There's a tomato... And uh, there's the, there's some angry sauce. We've got an angry sauce sighting. And uh, this is what it looks like. Oh, there goes the poor tomato. Pop it back on. Top bun. Bottom bun. Actually, that's kind of weird. What is that? Is that the bacon, or are they just are different types of? Onions, because you can see there's like your standard onions right there. And then there's the fried stuff, too. 
All right. Either way, we got uh, the pickles. Maybe those are the jalapenos. Damn if I know. No, no, there's a jalapeno. Who knows? It's the Angry Whopper. It's an abyss. No one knows what's truly in there. Uh, but I'm just going off of the, the ingredients that were on their website and uh, everything that should be on it. With that said, I'm going to try it out for you. I'll let you know what it tastes like. How spicy is it? How hot is it? How angry is it? I'll let you know. It's coming up in a minute. Angry Whopper from Burger King going in. YouTube.com slash VORW podcast. Tune in, check it out, listen in. So we're going to get one more bite. You know what? Not a lot of items from Burger King that I really say this about. It's legitimately good. I mean, that's that's the honest truth. I like it. I, very seldom. I always usually find something to criticize a burger or whatever from Burger King about because I'm just I'm not the biggest fan of them. Uh, but it's it's legitimately good. I I mean, I actually have no complaints about this at all. I mean. There's so much on it, but it all blends together well. And once it does that, once it finally just comes together in this this you know, grand uh, diapason, that means it's a big melodious mixture of, of, of flavors. It works. I mean, it's it, it tastes good. I mean, I can't I can't complain at all. Just the way the beef patty, the good amount of the bacon that they put on, the way all that ties together is great, right? The lettuce and the tomato and, uh, you know, the mayo even comes in good. It's just rich. It's flavorful. And then you get those jalapenos that add that spiciness and then the angry sauce. That angry sauce is what makes this burger. I, I gotta tell you, that is what makes it. Uh, because it's got like this sweetness to it at first, right? It's like, it's almost like it's like a hot honey barbecue. Uh, not really like honey barbecue, but you know, where it's, it's sweet and it gets spicy. So you first you eat it. It's almost got like this little honey-esque quality to it. So you eat it, it's got this this sweetness to it. And then as you're kind of just chewing away at it and starting to swallow, then that spicy aftertaste kicks in. And that just ties it all together. I mean, I gotta give them credit where it's due. The angry sauce is great. I mean, this is a sandwich that's packed with flavor. And I, I mean, I just, I really like the way that it is. Where it's not like you just bite it and it's just overwhelmingly hot at first. No. You get that sweetness, then it transitions into that spiciness. And I mean, that is that is great. Uh, and there's not too many times where I'm, I'm this uh, satisfied, especially with the Burger King product. But, I, I mean, I think they did a great job with this one. And that's that's all that I can say. I, I literally, I have no complaints about this at all. I mean, there's a good amount of toppings. Yeah, it's messy. And uh, by the way it looks... All I can call it is a, uh, a belly bomber, you know, because it, uh, most of the time I reserve that, that term just for White Castle or, uh, Crystal Burgers, but I haven't been to either of those in such a long time, so, you know, it's a, it's a belly bomber, uh, so, you know, it might, 
who knows what the after effects might be. But I'll tell you this, regardless of what it does to you, it tastes really good. And, you know, it might be a messier sandwich, but it is good. I got, I mean, I got to give them credit. That thing is great. Uh, so considering the price, it's a little expensive. But let me tell you this, you're not throwing your money away. Especially if you like spicier foods. It's not the hottest in the world, but it's just really flavorful and it's got that spice to it as well, which is just, I mean, it's awesome. I, I really liked the sandwich when I first came out with it for that reason. They're still maintaining those standards and that's just a great thing to see. Out of 10, therefore, 9.4 is what I'm giving it, 9.4 out of 10, because they just did a good job with this and they made a delicious sandwich. So thank you for watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and if you'd like to get any Review Bra merch, you know, trust me, if you get a t-shirt with my face on it, everyone's going to be looking at you. They're going to think that that I'm actually kind of sitting and, and I'm perched on your shirt. They're going to be, it. it's going to be incredible. So if you want to get anything, check it out, teespring.com slash stores slash the report of the week. I hope to get some new designs going up soon, might even do a few sales. So good, good time to check it out and uh, see what we have in the most literal sense in store. With that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be seeing you again in a few days. Thank you. Do take care.